Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. This is the third video for the memory based questions for SEBI IT. In the previous two videos, I have made the questions which are asked in the descriptive section that is the SEBI phase 2 of 2020 and 2022 years. Now in this video series, I am starting uh, the MCQ questions, the multiple choice based questions which are asked in SEBI phase 1 examination. So total 50 questions are asked in SEBI phase 1 examination. Each question is of 2 marks and in this video I am going to bring you 10 questions. In the next video 10 and so on all the 50 questions will be given to you. These all are memory based questions. So the options might be different. Also the language of the question might be different but the topic which were asked and the concept that was targeted for the exam that are still enact in these questions. So these questions are going to be very helpful for all those people who are going to prepare for the SEBI examination. By this you will get an idea that which particular topic is being asked in how many questions and how you have to prepare and prioritize your readings. So in this video I will bring the 10 questions but I will show the answer of all the 10 questions at the end of the video. So watch the video till the end so that you get the answers for every video. Now how you have to watch this video? Pause this video if you don't have any pen or paper with you. Take a pen and paper and whenever I am showing you a question, just mark your answer in that pen and paper. At the end of the video, when I am going to show you the answers for all the 10 questions, just write and calculate your marks out of 10 how much you got correct. If you got any question incorrect, then you have to learn about that topic. That will be the learning from this video. Do not forget to mention your uh, numbers in the comment section so that we can get to know that what areas you need to practice on. And if you feel anything that needs to be addressed, you can mention that in the comment section. So let's begin with the video and I hope everybody is there now with the pen and paper. Now, memory based question number one is related to the default mask of class b this question is very easy as you can see and the options are very easy also this is a factual based question so you do not need any kind of logical thinking during the examination this is a static question and a factual question the second question is related to the brute force attacks this particular question is again a static question but you have to read the answers in a logical manner all the options that are given in a logical manner in order to understand that what will be the end solution so attackers submitting many passwords hacking method that use trial and error to crack the password or cyber security attack during which malicious actors send messages pretending to be a trusted person or entity so for this what you need to understand you need to understand what is the actual soul of a brute force attack method so in the brute force attack method what is actually targeted which will actually signify that this particular kind of attack is a brute force attack now the third question port number for the data of ftp control so in FTP uh, control protocol and the data protocol, we have two paths, data and control, and those two use different port numbers. So you have to give the answers for the port numbers which are used in the FTP protocol. Okay, this is again a factual based question and a static question. If you don't know this question, you will not get this answer. Like the very first question, it does not include any kind of understanding. It is purely a static question. Now, the fourth question is related to the size of MD5 message dices. So this particular thing is used to encrypt the messages and the passwords that are sent and used in the presentation layer of the OSI model. So this MD5 has a message digest and what is the size of that particular thing it's being asked. This is again a static question. So you are seeing that many questions are static and if you don't know the answers, you might not be able to understand any of the question. Fifth question is about which all are the ransomware. So there are some list of the softwares which are the ransomware attacks which has happened in the past. Not exactly the software. These are the ransomware attacks that happened in the past. So which of these are ransomware and which of these are not. So according to that you have to answer this question. The sixth question asks about how we can delete all in SQL. So how you have to delete everything in SQL and which particular command suits best for the purpose. You have to pick that and mark that as an answer. The seventh question is related to truncate command in SQL. What does truncate command do? Again, a factual but little bit uh, logical question because 
this particular question involves different uh, options and you need to write and understand the different options read the different options to understand which is the best optimal solution for the truncate option you can see that uh, in the right hand side you have the mark that is plus 2 and the negative mark that is minus 0.5 so these particular things are applicable to all the questions which are there and this is how our ui looks for the question palette without the number of questions which appear on the right hand side so this is the ui for i from my exam b that how your question if you are attempting our mock test in our website how it will actually appear now question number eight data marts type so which all these are the types of the data mart so if you understand data mart the types of data mart you have to just pick which all types of data mart qualify for this particular question now question number nine you have to read this statement and identify whether this statement is true or false so if this statement is true you have to take the option true otherwise you have to state it as false so take your time pause the video and understand the question and then mark your answer now the last question for the video series is to identify the statement with respect to java syntax so whatever you are uh, like uh, reading here as an option this only applies to java so you have to just check what all things are applicable in java as a language and then you have to correctly choose one of the particular option that will actually be the optimal uh, answer for the entire question so these were all the 10 questions. I hope that you all have understood the question and have marked your answers in a pen and paper. Now it's time for the results. So these are the answers for all the 10 questions. I hope you guys uh, will give yourself an honest review and will calculate your marks. Now the people who are getting 8 or 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10, they are having a very good practice right now the people who are getting any marks between 5 to 7 they need to revise those topics which are actually the thing where they went wrong and the people who are getting below 5 they need to understand and revise everything so everything which is asked in these particular questions okay so this is my uh, scale for everybody 1 to 5 your preparation is not that good five uh, like above five like six and seven it is good but you need more the practice because it is an average performance and above eight nine ten like eight nine ten these are the good marks which you uh, whoever get this much marks are having good factual and static coverage of their subjects so this was all for this video if you like this video and want us to make more such video please do like the video and subscribe the channel hit the bell icon so that whenever we will bring a video to you you will get the update right there prepare 50 percent faster with i exam b for that you can go to our website that is www.ixambi.com and you can see our demo course which is there for sebi it comprehensive exam if you still have any doubt, you can mention that in the comment section or can reach out to us at the number which is flashed on the screen or on the email that is hello at examby.com. So this was all from my side. See you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing and stay updated.